Well, it's just been such a cold start to this month. As of Thursday, temperatures nearly 12 degrees below where they should be so far this month. And in terms of snowfall, well, we all know across much of the state, that's been well above average so far this season as well. Here in Green Bay, again, as of Thursday, 12 and a half inches of snowfall measured. That's nearly a foot above where we should be for this time of the year and taking a look across the upper Midwest. Here we are in Green Bay. Uh, notice the heaviest of the band of the snow we've seen so far this season has been from about Green Bay and Highway 29 and areas to the south and the snow really starting to pile up across the western UP and areas across the south shore of Lake Superior. Even lower Michigan has been dealing with quite a bit of lake effect snow over the last several weeks as well. Now we have to melt down that snow to get our precip measurements as well. We broke that all time annual record for rainfall and melted snow back on October 1st here in Green Bay. So we've been adding to that total over the past uh, month and month and a half, nearly uh, four and a half inches above that old record, which was set just last year. In terms of snowfall on the ground, we've had some snow during the last week with some warmer temperatures the last few days. We've been melting some of that, but still light dusting to around an inch across much of the state. Heavier snowpack now developing across north central Wisconsin. Again, the western UP and south shore of Lake Superior, where that lake effect snow has really been developing. We already are measuring upwards of a foot of snow on the ground up that direction. Now, as we look ahead, the 8 to 14 day outlook temperature wise, suggesting temperatures fairly seasonal, maybe a touch above average across western Wisconsin and the upper Midwest. A nice change compared to what we've been dealing with through the last several weeks and even the last month or so. Some cooler weather expected across the eastern portions of the U.S. In terms of rainfall and snow, again, during that same time period, we should see about average precip during that uh, portion of the month. It looks like we'll have some heavier rainfall across the southwestern U.S. and things start to dry out across the northwest. We'll be watching for potentially another big cool down as we wrap up this month of November.